Selamat sejahtera kepada semua. Hari ini saya nak membentangkan presentation tu. So nama saya ialah Kanadasan Anak Lelaki Kemulgu Barat. Nombor matrik saya ialah 01 DEP 22 F1010. Assalamualaikum. Let us intro ourselves. My name is Nurul Fadlina binti Sarifuddin and my matrik number is 01 DEP 22F1006. Hi, my name is Siti Mahana Bintu Muhammad Nasri. My matrix number is 01DP22F1020. Introduction of Application of Integration Integration is a powerful mathematical tool that finds wide-ranging applications in various fields of science, engineering, mathematics, and economics. It involves finding the area under curves, summing up infinite formal quantities, and solving problems that require combining or accumulating information. The concept of integration, introduced by Isaac Newton and Gottfried Wilhelm, has revolutionized our ability to understand and quantify complex phenomena in the real world. In real-life application, integration allows us to solve practical problems by breaking them down into infinitesimal parts and summing them up to obtain a complete solution. It provides a way to analyze and model continuous processes where quantities change smoothly and continuously over time or space. By applying integration, we can determine areas, volumes, cumulative values, and rates of change, among other important measures. Example of application of integration in real life. A plaster molding is to be made. The molding consists of two parts, a curved part and a rectangular part. The diagram show a cross section of the molding. The height show a cross section of the molding. The height of the curved part above the line AB at a distance x cm horizontally from A is given by y equal to x power of 3 minus 4x power of 2 plus 3x plus 2.2 for 0 less than equal to x less than equal to 2. The rectangular section of the molding has the dimension shown in the diagram. The total length of molding is 3.5 meter. Find the volume of plaster required to make the molding. So this is the question that has been given to us. So first of all, we have to find the coordinates of the intersection of point A and point B. So for that, we must find the value of both intersections, that is x1 and x2. So for that, x squared plus 2x minus 2 equals to x plus 4. So x squared plus x minus 6 equals to 0. So x minus 2 and x plus 3 equals to 0. So the first x value is 2 and the second x value is negative 3. So we now we have to substitute the both x values into the y equation, equation to find the value of p and a. So when we substitute the value of x1 into the equation, y equals to 2 plus 4 equals to 6. So the b equation will be 2, 6. And when we substitute the second x value that is negative 3, so negative 3 plus 4 equals to 1. So the a value is negative 3, 1. Secondly, the question is, the R bounded by a line Y equals to X plus 4 and the curve Y equals to X square plus 2X minus 2. So the first step we have to do is integrate 2 negative 3X plus 4 dx. So minus integration 2 negative 3X square plus 2X minus 2 dx. So now we have to open bracket x square over 2 plus 4x bracket 2 negative 3 minus x cube over 3 plus 
x square minus 2x close bracket to negative 3 so now we have to put all together and minus will be get 10 minus negative 7.5 minus 8 over 3 minus 6 so the answer will be 25 over 6 unit square thank you introduction of application of integration Integration is a powerful mathematical tool that finds wide-ranging applications in various fields of science, engineering, mathematics, and economics. It involves finding the area under curves, summing up infinite small quantities, and solving problems that require combining or accumulating information. The concept of integration, introduced by Isaac Newton, and Gottfried Wilhelm has revolutionized our ability to understand and quantify complex phenomena in the real world. In real life application, integration allows us to solve practical problems by breaking them down into infinitesimal parts and summing them up to obtain a complete solution. It provides a way to analyze and model continuous processes where quantities change smoothly and continuously over time or space. By applying integration, we can determine areas, volumes, cumulative values, and rates of change, among other important measures.